for those of you, for those of you, for those of you who have come carrying your own personal copy of the kingdom's constitution, there's a word from the Lord nestled in the gospel as it is accorded by the Jewish historian Mark. Mm, excuse me, I just got a fax from heaven. Turn to the book of Luke. Luke, turn to the book of Luke. Look at chapter 18. My God, those emails just come out of nowhere. I know you think email stands for electronic mail, but it stands for Elohim mail. The Gospel of Luke. Chapter 18. Reading shall commence at verse 18. It says, Now a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good teacher, King James may say, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why calleth me good? No one is good save but one that is God you know the commandments do not commit adultery do not murder do not steal do not bear false witness honor your father and your mother and he said all these things I have kept from my youth so when Jesus heard these things he said to him you still lack one thing yet thou lackest one thing Sell all you have and distribute it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he became very sorrowful, he said, how hard is it for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And those who heard it said, who then can be saved? But he said, Jesus said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. For this time that we have to share together, I want to talk about it's all about the Benjamins. It's all about the Benjamins. Very popular song that came out not too long ago, written by a very popular young man by the name of Puff Daddy. Maybe familiar to many of the young folks. And the song was entitled, It's All About the Benjamins. The song was suggestive that it's all about money. Life is all about stuff. Life is all about materialism. Life is all about dollars and cents. It's all about the Benjamins. And the reason or the way he derived this particular title is because Benjamin Franklin's face just so happens to be on the $100 bill. So his mindset or his mentality says that it's all about money and throughout the breadth and length of this country, unfortunately, many of our mentalities say that it's all about the Benjamins. I've come by tonight to enlighten you upon the reality that families are broken up tonight because one party or the other party has a mentality that says it's all about the Benjamins. Young people, young men, and young women are standing on the corners tonight drug dealing because their mentality tonight says it's all about the Benjamins. 
Drug sales are cluttered and clamoring tonight with young black men and young black women, white boys and white girls because the mentality declare that it's all about the Benjamins. The cemeteries are filled and cluttered with people that had the mentality that it was all about money. I've got to do what I've got to do. I'm up here to survive. Many, 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 many have decided that, that, that the genuine vocational arena, and what I mean by genuine vocational arena, I'm talking about regular jobs teachers and school teachers and bus drivers and doctors and lawyers and bankers and all of the above no longer suffice but because my mentality says it's all about money i have to do quick stuff like street pharmacy i i, I have to i have to i have to make quick often trips down to the riverboat I, I i have to go stand up in lottery lines and get my auntie birthday and my cousin birthday and my granddaddy birthday and dream up numbers so i can hit the number my mind my mentality says it's all about the benjamins but i've stopped by tonight to tell you that it's not all about the benjamins it's all about the blood I've stopped by tonight to tell you, you may be able to buy grocery, but you can't buy grace. I've stopped by tonight to tell you, you may be able to buy cars, but you cannot buy comfort. I've stopped by tonight to tell you that you may be able to buy houses, but you cannot buy hope. I've stopped by tonight to tell you that if you're going to survive in this day and time, you do not need Benjamins, but you need the blood of Jesus. Tap somebody on the shoulder and tell them it's all about the blood. We encounter a young man tonight, a very familiar brother, our friend and our brother, the rich young ruler. You know him tonight, don't you? The rich young ruler, the young man you see walking around in his nautica, his Tommy Hill figure, his polo with his Michael Jordan tennis shoes on. The rich young ruler. The young man that you see walking around with the gold teeth all in his mouth, with his big gold rope chain around his neck, his head with braids all through it, an afro with a pick in his head, the rich young ruler. The young man that rides around in his Benzo, his Chevy, impelling his Lexus, lean back to the side as he looks out of the window on his bike. You do know him, don't you? The rich young ruler. He shows up tonight by way of the biblical text and the Bible says he shows up and he says, good master. He says, good teacher. He says, he says, good curios. Lord, superintendent, commander, controller. He says, good master. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus says to him in verse 20, he says, you know the commandments, do not kill, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother. The boy shows up and said, Jesus, all of that stuff I've kept from my youth. Jesus, don't you know who I am? You, you, you got me mixed up. I, I'm the rich young ruler. I, 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 I'm, I'm the one that sets up all of sets up all of the free meals for homeless folk on Thanksgiving time. I, I'm the rich young ruler. I'm the one that sets up the little shops and passes out all of the free toys on Christmas time to all of the folk who can't afford toys. I'm the rich young ruler. I'm the one that gives out scholarships to young folk who can't afford to go to college. I'm the rich young ruler. I walk right, I talk right, I've got good things to say about everybody. I, I, I'm a wonderful person. I, I'm the rich young ruler. But after all of this, the Bible shows up and Jesus says, yet thou lackest one thing. He says, you may be a wonderful person, you may, be, may do a lot of great things, you may be a charitable person, but yet thou lackest one thing. What does that tell me tonight? The boy had nothing more than ritualistic religion. He had a religion that was a, relig a, a, a ritual. He had a religion, but he didn't have a relationship. Yeah, yeah, he just showed up to church on Sunday morning. 
every now and then he would clap his hands in the with the quiet every now and then he may get a, a pen and a little a little outfit and serve on the usher board he he just came to church and did a few things here and there out of ritual but he had not accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and his Savior and I stopped by tonight to tell you, you can serve on all the boards you want to serve on. You can chair all the programs you want to chair. You can sing, out sing, double sing, triple sing, out sing. Everybody you think you can out sing. You can play the organ better than everybody else. Play the piano, beat on the drums, jump and shout and hallelujah and thank you Jesus and dance all you want to. But if you have not confessed with your mouth and believe with your heart, the Lord Jesus has been raised from the dead. You are on your way to hell. He had a religion, but he didn't have a relationship. Stop by tonight to tell you, you need to have a relationship with God. God is tired of folk walking in his house. Won't talk to him, won't pray to him, won't fast, won't praise him and come in and serve him. What we call serving, walking around. Faces frowned up. No, you don't love him. You don't act like him. Won't spend no time with him. Won't fall upon bending knees and ever call upon him. But you come in here and we ask you to pray and you pray all night and all day. Why did I say that? Granddaddy tell me if you talk to him often, you ain't got to talk to him alone. You got a, a ritualistic religion. Just show up to church. He come tonight and Jesus said, you got to have a relationship with me. I want you to walk with me. I want you to talk with me. Is there anybody here that know that he'll walk with you? Is there anybody here that know he'll talk with you? You need a relationship. He wants you to spend some time with him. He wants you to call him like you call that naughty head Negro. Yeah, yeah, he, he, wants you to, he wants you to wind him and dine him. He wants you to spend some time with him in the midnight hour. Says you need a relationship. Must I talk to some real people in here? I feel the Holy Ghost. Bible said that the boy needed a relationship. And watch this. Jesus says you lack one thing. Sell all you have. Distribute it unto the poor and you'll have treasure in heaven. Jesus, you've got to be losing your mind. Sell all I got. You mean to tell me you want me to get rid of my bins? You want me to get rid of my legs? You want me to get rid of my rolls? You want me to get rid of my stocks, my bonds? You want me to get rid of my MasterCard, my Discover card? You want me to get rid of my, my, my Platinum American Express? You want me to get rid of my Versace, my Donna Carey? You want me to get rid of my, my gators, my snakes? You want me to get rid of my houses up on the high, high hill? You want me to get rid of all of my stuff and come follow you? And you know Jesus probably had on a sheet and some sandals. You, you do see him, don't you? And the boy said, I got all this and you want me to give all of this up and follow you? That just goes to tell us tonight that when you follow Jesus, there's some stuff you got to... There's some stuff he wants you to get rid of. He's telling you tonight, you got to let some stuff go. You got your U-Haul of backbiting, your U-Haul of lying, your U-Haul of stealing, your U-Haul of fornicating, your U-Haul of, form of whoremongering, your U-Haul of adultery, your U-Haul of homosexuality, trying to follow Christ. He said, let that mess go. Let us lay aside every weight that so easily besets us. You can't run for him. You do not have power to be effective for him because you got all this mess holding you back and holding you down. He said, let it go so you can run for me. Touch somebody and tell them, let it go. Told him, get rid of all of that stuff. When the boy heard this, he was very sorrowful. Frustrated, discouraged, upset, got mad, didn't want to get rid of his stuff. Some of us in here tonight don't want to get rid of our stuff. First thing, preachers say something about some of our stuff. 
Say something about our stuff when we get mad, don't want to come to church no more. Leave out and talk about us like a dog. Because they've said, well, thus saith the Lord. Mad just like the boy got mad. And I know you're looking at the boy tonight and saying, oh, that's such a shame. The boy lost his soul because the Lord said, sir, all he had became very soft. Well, you act just like it. And don't you get mad at me. I'm not the editor, the writer, nor the publisher. I'm just a paper boy. I just come out and say extra, extra. Read all about it. I ain't making it up. It's right here in the book. The Bible said the boy became very sorrowful. He rebelliously rejected Christ. He had a ritualistic religion, then he rebelliously rejected Christ. He got upset and said, ain't no way. I'm gonna get rid of my stuff. He rebelliously rejected Christ. What profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul, Matthew 16, 26. I've stopped by tonight to tell you, don't you lose your soul over some stuff. There's a demon, a devil, a imp, a spirit entitled materialism that is destroying us. We got stuff-itis. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got stuff-itis. Our eyes are focused on cars and focus on houses and focus on clothes and focus on rings, focus on stuff. But I stop by the night to tell you, don't you focus on the stuff, focus on the maker of the stuff. See, because all the stuff belong to him anyway. I got full access to it anyway. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. Stop worrying about stuff and do what Matthew 6, says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added under you. Give somebody a high five and tell them it's all about the blood. All about the blood. <laughs> he says, how hard is it for those who have riches to enter into the kingdom of God? For it's easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. What that was was a proverbial expression. In other words, that was some Jewish slang. That was some Jewish Ebonics. Jesus was talking the Jews language. In other words, he was saying, hey, ain't no way y'all gonna get to heaven. You rich, you focus on your stuff. You ain't stunned by me if you gonna focus on your stuff. Ain't no way you gonna get to heaven. It was Jewish Ebonics. It's harder, it's harder, it's harder for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of God. All of the folks gathered around and said, if this man cannot get into heaven. Verse 26 says, who in the world then can be saved? If this man with all of this money, if this man with all of this popularity, if this man with all of this clout, if this man with all of this power cannot be saved, who in the world then can be saved? Look at what Jesus said. This is the hallelujah verse. Look at somebody and say, this is the hallelujah verse. <laughs> but he said the things which are impossible with men are possible with the almighty God. And I stop by to tell you the thing that you've been trying to, to work out yourself. With your money and with your, your bank and with your financial advisor are only possible with the almighty God. The things which are impossible with men are possible with the almighty God. And I stopped by the night to tell you that the boy thought his money was the answer. But I'm glad tonight that in the midst of the boy's rebellious rejection, all the boy needed was redemptive restoration. In other words, what he thought was in money was found in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, Lord. And I'm glad the Bible said that the things that are impossible with man are 
impossible with the Almighty God. Oh Lord, and let me tell y'all the thing money can save your soul. Oh Lord, the Bible says in Isaiah 52 and 3, and they shall be redeemed without money. Oh Lord, Second Timothy says that money is the root of all evil. And I stopped by the night to tell y'all you might be able to buy a ticket tonight to Kansas City. Oh Lord, you might be able to buy a ticket tonight to Atlanta, Georgia. Oh yeah, you might, might be able to buy a ticket to Los Angeles, California. Oh yeah, you might be able to buy a ticket tonight to Paris, France. But I stopped by tonight to tell y'all you cannot buy a ticket to glory. Have I got a witness here? For I heard the Bible say without the shedding of blood, that could be no remission for sin. Have I got a witness here? It's all about the blood of Jesus. Have I got a witness here? Is there anybody in here that knows it's all about the blood of the Lamb? Shake somebody's hand and tell them it's all. I said it's all. It's all about the blood of the lamb is there anybody here that can testify tonight you heard the hymn writer say what can wash away your sin nothing but the blood of jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of jesus he died that I might live, died, that I might have life, and have it more abundantly, shed blood, that I might have blood, running warm in my veins, is there anybody here, that know it's all about the blood, shake three people's hand, and tell them, the reason why I'm still here, is because, it's all about the blood, the reason why I'm still here is because I'm blood covered. The devil thought he had me, but I'm blood covered. My enemies thought they had me, but I'm blood covered. My friends thought I wouldn't make it. Tell them I'm still here because I'm blood covered. I'm gonna make it all week long because I'm blood covered. My enemies are my footstool because I'm blood covered. I got victory over Satan because I'm blood covered. I'm gonna make it because I'm blood covered. It's all about the blood. It's all about the blood. Somebody shout, thank you for the blood. 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 Do you love him tonight? Did he die for you? 
shake three people's hand and tell them he died for me, he died for me, he died for me, he died for me. Somebody shout glory! Somebody shout glory! Somebody shout glory! Look around, tell somebody, say, I've been washed. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, oh, yeah. Touch three people and tell them the blood did it. 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 Thank you for your blood. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's enough for the night. Some are after the being, but I'm after blood. Blood. Enemies can't get to me because of the blood. And every time Jesse would cut me down, I got to look through the blood. I'm coming. Now take a seat. He wash, he wash my head. He wash my heart. He wash my mind. He wash my feet. He wash, he wash, he wash. Are you glad he watched you? Yeah. Touch somebody and tell them you can dance in advance. You can dance in advance. Cause I'm blood covered. I'm blood covered. I can dance in advance. Cause I'm blood covered. That's enough. you've been washed in the blood how many of you know you're saved just whisper Shh. just whisper tell somebody I'm saved and I know I am go to church is over Watch 
watch out there now. It will make you dance, won't it? How many of you know where to get in your feet? to really get on you. Does that make any difference what other folks think? Yeah. I'm not ashamed. Oh, Some folks are ashamed. But God been good to me. Yeah. Look somebody in the eye and say, I'm not ashamed. All right, all right. All right, we got to let me change keys.